This thing fell earlier, so this might be... It was fine. Also, cover the cover the logo as much as you can. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Sucker for Love. We've gotten... We got all the way through the first date with our darling, Lynetta. But it is time to complicate things in... This next part. Here we go. Eventually she'll Number speak. Two. There it is. The king in yellow approaches. Um all right. Back into this, back into uh the scary world of dating. Um <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. In a world terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares, something as innocuous as an additional star in the night sky may be the most prophetic premonition of doom. For wherever the lurid golden light of the planet Carcosa shines, the long wicked shadow of the king in yellow is cast. Behind that mask lies echoes of decadence and disorder, masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal part. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the God King's court, the favored victims of the King's sadistic amusement are followers belonging to other deities. Huh? What? <laughs> Where? Huh? <laughs> Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn, I have one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember the, for the life of me what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Was I going to work? I am standing outside, after all. Um, yeah, that's gotta be it. The sun is setting, so it's probably room 7 p.m., uh, which means I'm gonna be crazy late. Fantastic. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse that I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day, sun up to sundown. That's why I'm six hours early for my shift. Huh? Those sound like the church's noontime bells. It's high noon. <laughs> no way. Uh, they must be doing some special evening service or something. I can clearly see that it's the golden hour right before sunset. And the sun... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Look at... Oh, my God. That's a detail that I... Like, I never see that in games. Fucking the cursor is casting a shadow what the fuck i love that what the shit <laughs> i'll just have to ask it's the little things i'll just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work if it's not too late and i really hoof it i'll just get chewed out instead of fired i'll still have to deal with being sweaty but i'll figure that out when i get there oh someone's coming home uh perfect fingers crossed that i'm not absolutely screwed he seems to be having a time um uh hey hey man sorry to bother you uh you wouldn't happen to have have the, to have the time on you would you after you spilled so much ketchup on your front just so much ketchup hello hey uh hey is this guy ignoring me Normally, I'd say whatever and walk away, but he's unfortunately standing in the in the only stairway off this floor. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him, but this guy is giving me such weird vibes. I don't want to go anywhere near him. Um, the longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more suspicious. Yeah, is he coming closer? <laughs> Am I imagining that? Uh, that odd posture. 
He slowly swaying in an uncanny, disturbing way. The collar of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotches of deep browns and reds. And there was something else, but I didn't read it. <laughs> Does he even live here? This is the top floor, and I thought I've met all of my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. Um, my only choices are to go inside and call the police or to walk past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around for when the cops show up, so I'll, uh, but just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoe. It's bright pink with gold accents. A book? What's... <gasps> Lynetta! But I died! The world ended! Uh, y yes! The shock freezes me in place, and I, because I was so distracted, I didn't even notice the... I, I noticed. Oh, hello! I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious man's... men's face. <laughs> Fumbling with the locks in a panic, I managed to turn the deadbolt. Yeah, that'll stop him. <laughs> I take a few fearful steps back into the room, clutching the book to my beating chest. I died. I definitely died when I performed the, the final ritual. I stabbed myself in the heart five times. So why was I? Why am I still here? Where is here? Locked in my room, I have nowhere to hide, uh, no, nowhere to hide, apparently. Nowhere to run is what it says. What the fuck? Lynetta? Lynetta! If Lynetta was here, she could explain this. Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on. Lynetta, where are you? Lynetta, who? Who is this Lynetta you're trying to call? Uh, Missy, uh, <laughs> what are you doing in my room? I just Ooh. so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? Yeah. You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. I definitely deadbolted the door. How did you even get in here? Your window was open. Uh, uh, huh? No, it's not. And either way, I'm on the top floor. How did you... Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously... You're avoiding my questions, and I don't she? like this. Uh, what is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed I slammed that door in her face, but not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Why doesn't she care about those freaky things stalking me outside, or that my room is full of evil idols and ritualistic tokens? I can explain all this stuff it's a sex thing uh let me guess accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods no it's really sex stuff yeah no well yeah uh exactly right did you just randomly guess that no i've just been playing coy I know exactly what you've been doing. And I find it hot. Okay. You know what this is, don't you? Uh, it's a golden version of my book. The book I use to perform rituals for Lynetta. Hers looks way more innate than mine. Considering I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait, wait a minute. The sky, that suspicious man outside. They all match Missy's book. Is she making all this happen? Yes. Congratulations, you've caught up to the plot. Oh God, when I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just gonna show up with a hatchet or something. <laughs> Missy, <laughs> look, I'm sorry. I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't end reality. Sorry. I mean, I feel like I was acting pretty chill. <laughs> Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? Uh, it's capable of telling me a good, good night story. I know all too well, but I also know that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce, and that if she's, and that's if she gets it right on the first try. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. 
If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. Wow, this escalated fast. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather demanding. I mean, that just sounds like any old relationship, honestly. Name your price. So bold. Ah. In that case, I have three commands. Okay. Number one, you'll address me as your highness from now on. So when I come home, it's welcome home, your highness. When she comes home, she wants to move in. But that means whatever. It's not like I'm going to have to fall actually fall through on these. It's at least <laughs> at least one of us is about to die. God. As you wish, your highness. Uh, what else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. Your one and only. Sure, whatever. Just a little bit more until I'm sprinting. I'm in sprinting range of the knife. And number three. Mm -hmm. You'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. Do mm. you agree to my terms? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. To what? Absolutely, your highness. Uh -huh. I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful <laughs> spells on you. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackles from my fingertips. She... Is she not here to hurt me? I've liked you for a long time. Oh. And you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. I mean, I'm There's good at no math. Reason we can't simply work together. After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? I mean... <laughs> Lynetta and I had something special. I also have something special with Lady Dumbatrisk, but hey, you know, sure. No threats of violence or fear. Yeah, right. <laughs> we, narrow, we narrowly escaped with our lives just now. But something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in the reality that ended under Lynetta's awakening? And how did she get in through my window? I doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that and then pass through my locked window without breaking it. There's only one possible answer. All right, your highness, I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. Being? Could you tell me what this is? Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? <laughs> what about it? So you're an eldritch god disguised as a human. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce worst. We're chest. Where? Where? Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an Eldritch loan word. <laughs> Why else would it be spelled like that? <sighs> I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Yeah, you should have tried using your Eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. What? What? Cosmic entities are attractive as a human. The 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non Euclidean geometry are smoking. They've got curves I can literally get lost in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. <laughs> Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Esther, King in Yellow, heiress to Carcosa. Charmed, I'm sure. Now you can change back. I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm good. She's gorgeous. Sure. Uh, a bona fide eldritch king in my room. Ah, oh man, all my fantasies of smooching and eldritch horror are coming true. What the fuck? 
God. Apparently Patrick just woke up and is going through all the TikToks I sent him. Jesus. Okay. Uh, and Eldritch royalty to boot. Oh. The King in Yellow. Sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory of my other existence is kind of fuzzy. What do I remember? What I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists loyal to other gods. Like Lynetta, shit. I kind of got swept up in the moment and almost forgot. I already pledged fealty to a different god. This reality or not. Ah, uh, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know, so loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Well, power. Whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, I can double it. Oh, <laughs> can you? She promised me a smooch. Then I shall... What, what, what? You handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? But now I'll hand mine over to you for two. <laughs> you heard me. So you'll match her offer then? I... I suppose... Mm -hmm. If that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch can be... Arranged. Uh, no, 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 no way. You promised to double it. That's two smooches. <laughs> no, hold on a minute. Hey, you said it. Two of them on the lips. All right, all right. Very well. Two smooches lip to lips. Mwah. Yes. I just... Usually, my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame and influence, or some lavish indulgence. Uh, I mean, I feel like this is quite the indulgence. Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so... She's blushing for real. Oh, you well. You really want to smooch me? I mean, sure. Well, your terms are amenable. Mm. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. Scenes? The prompt book I gave you contains the script for the king in yellow. Oh, huh. You mean the spell book I, that I was so afraid of? Uh, is, is just a damn play? What the fuck? This thing is just a playbook? Where are all the powerful, uh, the power invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? You went from attractive to, eh. To, oh my god, I can't stand you, in literally one word. The word peasant. <laughs> no, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed. Perfectly. Hmm. Perfectly. I don't always get these rituals, uh, I mean, scenes, right the first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set a scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. Okay, that's not that bad. And you'll also be killed. What? <laughs> Yulp. I'm getting those smooches, no matter what. Break a leg, dearest. Lovely. Okay. So we start off and hey, look, I see tentacles under the skirt. Okay. Good to know that I'm not missing out on any hot tentacle action. Uh, okay, setting, exterior, in view of city. Okay, so I have to head outside, be out here, and then bada bing bada boom. Okay, so if I screw up like I did with the fucking rituals last episode, I will die. So I need to be very careful. Oh, I hate this game. Oh, oh, I hate this game. Oh, Jesus. Like, what the fuck? Uh, okay. Let's get back into it, BB. Okay. 
I don't un I don't understand what I did wrong. No. What am I do What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Okay, is there is mm, okay one second. Sucker for love. First date. There's no options. So I can't like shrink the size of the fucking cursor so I know where I'm actually fucking clicking. Oh okay. Okay, okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I just swear to god if I'm if I If I can't do the first line, I'm so fucked. Okay. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. BB. Okay. Um, okay. The real problem here is that it expects me to go across in a line. My desk is a corner desk. So literally my desk, if I, let's follow my cursor. If I were to follow the line of my desk. That, that's the direction I, I, my hand wants to go. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Eh, eh. Okay. What if I use the bottom of my keyboard to keep me straightened out? Okay, but then I have to find... Okay, I almost fucking fell out of line, but it... It did it! <laughs> it did it! <laughs> Okay. Greetings, stranger, fortune, fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king of the king in yellow. So come all ye in ye till. Uh, uh, wear thine masks upon you to my masquerade until he may come to lost ye till. Uh, Hope for us, there may be still. Shadows lengthen dim streets darken to the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly does thou bark in the dim city of Yatil? Wow, okay. Only much attention, quite unwholesome you'll instill from the souls of poor Yatil. Why attract so much ill will? Interesting, interesting. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Uh, okay. So then we go to the next line, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Ah, this is so difficult. There we go. That is just what I must seek. See, uh, hidden somewhere amongst the meekly, uh, tis one invitee I seek. He shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow whose great wealth I shall accrue. Uh, when his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you that is not how you would say that line. Oh, no, your plan <laughs> shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king as whom they say, which shall this city indeed smite. If he comes, you tell him you and I will know his might. I'll be lost within a night. But reward is worth that price. Mm. A singular smooch. <laughs> okay, um Ah uh, This is such ass. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. I'm just edging. I'm edging up to my keyboard. Okay. See? Okay. 
Oh, thank God. Wearing this expensive clothing. Pardon for, from my family's loathing. Uh, lasting till I am decomposing all my friends whom strife I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall all be proud because I had brought the king to us. Thank you. Th thank you. Th thank you. Oh, <laughs> whose underwear is this? <laughs> Bye. Thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to uh. the stage, I can tell. Oh, well, yeah. I was a theater kid. My school did Macbeth. Uh, I'm obviously not very concerned with saying cursed words. <laughs> Virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you've performed Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. <laughs> Tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. Uh, I was tree number four. I wasn't aware that was a role. Uh, it's not. You weren't even the leading tree. <laughs> Don't worry, I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. Acting. Oh, you are good. Why, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, hey, uh, what's happening to you? Ugh. Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. <laughs> A cloud, perhaps. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? Well, now That's I do. I oh, fun. Be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. Good to know. That explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She'd literally vanish when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. <laughs> that also explains how she got into my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. So she can't get into my room if I close my curtains. Aww, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. Mm. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. Ah, uh, man, wouldn't that suck? <laughs> Thank God I don't live in Seattle. Mm. Oh my, a smooch? On the forehead? <laughs> Well, looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Esther is stuck outside for, uh, is stuck outside for the moment, I guess. Uh, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Esther, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? <laughs> do I stay with Lynetta, or do I follow Esther? this time around she is offering twice as many smooches after all and we all know that love is best when it's transactional uh i need to make my choice if i want to stay with lynetta uh then i should focus on casting spells from her book if i want to smooch esther then i should open my window when the clouds are clear and use esther's book and if i try going for both well, walking down the middle of the road is bound to get me run over. I love that line. <laughs> as long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe, right? Oh man, what am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world-ending calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen, my dude. You don't clear your head when you get to Lynetta. You, you get world-endingly horny is the the truth. Uh, speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? Because she left a mark on you, you idiot. All right. Now, uh, Mama didn't raise no fool. So you see this? You see this right here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we're washing that. Why is my hands covered in blood? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? 
<laughs> what was in her lipstick? <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> okay, so I need to close my curtains because we need to perform the summoning ritual for Lynetta. Uh, this is before we get to make any choices. Uh, it's a red fire candle, right? Okay. Uh, find and put on your ritual necklace. Perfect. Do I need anything else? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay, no, I do not. Let's go ahead and read this shit. Uh, why is that so much easier? Why is that one so much easier? M Mortal, for what purpose have you- Darling, it's you! Oh, hi. Hey, Lynetta. It's nice to see her despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. She told me up front what would happen, and I did it willingly. That said, <laughs> I'm really glad you're here, but, uh... Can you tell me what happened to me, to that world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Cool. Like a dream that ends. That's terrifying. Just as I thought, only... Then why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? Oh, darling, don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. You're still here because I'm... I'm still dreaming about you. That's too fucking cute. <laughs> Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. Mm. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. That is adorable. That's actually kind of sweet in a terrifying cosmic way. What would happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you woke up all at once? Everything, including all of the gods, would cease to be. And that can just happen at any time? Nah, don't worry. There's about 50 of us total. So the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. Can't wait for that to be a plot point in the next game. <laughs> There's only like 50 of you and all. She probably knows Esther very closely. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big family, huh? Oh, family. <laughs> do, do you know Esther? Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. Oops. <laughs> Sister? Uh, I can't stand that prissy little boyfriend stealing. Don't uh, have a great relationship with her, do you? Absolutely not. Okay. We're fighting over planets and followers for eons. It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward. <laughs> uh, you, good thing I washed my face. Playboy instincts jumping out, uh, jumping out here. Woo! What if Lynetta saw that lipstick smear on my forehead? I'd be in hot water right about now. <laughs> well, I still am in hot water, actually. I've gotten involved with her sister. A messy affair is bad enough, but with a family member? I'm toast if she finds out. Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldritch Hand saved my ass last time. I better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Sheesh. Listen to myself. What the hell is wrong with me, man? Yeah, let's go cast an Eldritch Mouth. Uh. Perfect, perfect. Wear no robes or amulets. Goodbye. Have the ritual knife on your person. Oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, doop -a -doop. Okay. Let's go ahead. Uh, I need to be in the bathroom. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. This will definitely be fine. Ugh, ugh, it's smiling at me. I don't like it. You scream. Shit. 
still as, unner uh, as unnerving as I remember. In this reality, this is just my hand now, forever. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we can totally have a date date. Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? Oh no. Uh, no, wait! But what? What is it? Uh, uh, you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out, <laughs> like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? Oh no, don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? Uh, just a tad salty, you know, it's just a little. Heavens below! <laughs> I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. No peeking by, I love you! <laughs> She's adorable. That was a close one. If she opened that window, Esther would have come. And yeah, I would have been a goner. Ooh. Looks like the clouds have cleared and Lynetta's out of the room. If I want to date Esther, it's go time. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make absolutely sure that th that, that window never opens. Ever. <laughs> it's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. Alrighty. I gotta choose which one to go with first. Because obviously I'm gonna do both. <laughs> obviously I've gotta go through all the options. I'm gonna start with Esther. Because uh, that's... This is what's gonna cause me the most heartache. <laughs> uh, Alrighty, so... Uh, backstage in an enclosed room with a mirror. Uh, prepare the host for scene two by doing the following. Apply the masquerade mask. Okay, so time for the mask, robes, and knife. I have all of them. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I think I got it correct. When all is complete, look at a mirror to ensure the costume is prepared properly. Okay. That's all it says. Um, okay. Let's look in the mirror. All right, looks like everything is in place. I feel all gussied up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this whole ensemble is out of this world. Ha! If Lynetta is showering in here, I better meet with Esther in the other room. All I have to do is stand where the planet's light can reach me and... I already know what you're going to say, your highness. Yellow is more your color than mine, but I still look pretty good, right? Up well. I'm impressed. I did you not open the curtains. Alright, perfect. It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive, like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. Oh! <laughs> I feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. What the fuck? <laughs> it's stuck to my face somehow. Ow. Ow. It really won't come off. Uh, <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. Yeah, you did fail to mention that. Yeah. In the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. Mm. This surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. Correct? Uh, I can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eye holes. The mask in your uh, face have become one. Uh, your every pore is now gilt and gold. No, no, no. You see, the stuff with the mouth before... In the hand, that those things were bad, but the eyes, no, no eye shit, no, I'm good, thank you, goodbye. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, this is, what do I have to wear, what, do I have to wear this to work? My dude, why do you think you're going to work? You're fucked now. When I see family, when I see Lynetta, wait a minute. Those strange people outside, they all had masks stuck to them, too. Are they past followers who became Esther's servants? Is that going to be my fate? Probably, motherfucker. Okay, interior well lit. Enters wearing robe, robes and mask. 
Okay, the the mask is permanently on my face, so I guess uh, we're good there. Um, interior well lit. Okay. Oh, hey, look, that's open now apparently. Um, well lit. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, this is gonna be a bitch and a half. Okay. Uh. Oh, thank God. Welcome company, much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. Till this evening we shall share which should, which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself. But I'll be beside myself when the king arrive. When the, when the, the king reveals himself. <laughs> Oh. Hands upon my bodice, for before you stands a goddess. Know this guest of goldenrod is merely the first of the night. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. I'll be yours once you arrive. Hot. <laughs> God, fucking shit. <laughs> Oh, load the fucking checkpoint. Jesus fucking Christ. I despise this. It's like fucking playing operation. Ah, uh, yes, until my schemes may flourish. We shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance in whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. Uh, by the morrow we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. Be graciously obeisant, demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation he receives upon his court. All who live and doomed you till will know without report. The king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. Mm. Thank God. Thank you. An immaculate performance, dearest. Thank you. Bravissimo. Thank you. There's only one more scene to reenact. God. And then this world will be mine. Uh -huh. Cool. I probably should have asked before before we got to the final act, but uh this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Oh, fun. Okay. Um. Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain, and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Wait. <laughs> My character dies. I'm going to die. I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. And your galaxy's away. I'm on the planet Carcosa. Is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I get that she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her, but that's got to be cruel even for her. No way I can go through with that. Sorry, I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However, my wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. You're not as scary as Lynetta. You you look like you're you're just pouting. You're pouting. I saw this on girls' faces in my fucking high school theater program all the time. You're not intimidating. Fuck you. So, for your sake, dearest, do the fucking scene. They bleeped her. <laughs> Love that. Love that they bleeped her. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. A food preparation guide. Uh, prepare for the scene three by doing the following. Retrieve the ingredients from cold storage. Light red fire candles. 
allow the king into the room. Uh, okay. I have the ingredients. Red fire candles are there. Don't do not make a mistake or a hungry uninvited guests may arrive. <laughs> Bitch! I already got the one though. I got the other one. Game. Why are you doing this to me? I swear to God. I swear to fucking bajeez. Okay. It prefers it when I'm lower. Motherfucker! By the way, to be incredibly clear, it keeps saying too fast. That's what happens when you just skip the line. Oh, I'm going to fucking do a heckin' murder. What is happening? Okay. Skip ahead to when I actually succeeded this. Thank God. Ah. Simply exquisite. Yes, I believe this banquet will do nicely. The room is filled with mouth watering the mouth watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. Good for you. There must be a magical component involved here, because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Oh my god! Esther is strutting towards my bed. Oh Sorry, shit. To them to merely watch me eat, dearest. I'll eat you. <laughs> uh I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Uh, that's not what I meant. Instead of watching me eat this feast, you'll feed it to me. What was that? It sounded like groans of murderous anger from outside the door. I thought it was my stomach. Was that from the masked stalkers outside? If they've all got masks on their faces, they must be Esther's followers or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy? Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they'd kill for the chance to spend any time with Esther. Hmm. Just a moment, dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. Ha ha! Ha ha! Silk? <laughs> My blankets are cotton. <sighs> Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. You... Just keep getting worse. <laughs> Lynetta, like it was the body horror. It, you know, it was the body horror that was the bad thing. You, I just hate. So picky. If she's that uppity, maybe I'll start with the grapes. Something that'll feed her princess complex. Uh, how <laughs> Delightful. Certain parts are cute. Certain parts are cute. I'm glad. Hey, I th think I could have any of these. <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. Oh yeah? So you won't eat anything my lips have touched either? Of course not. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh. Mmm, I bet. I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? Mmm. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm, I've never had anything like it. Mmm. Let me try. Oh, you want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it? I... I don't want it after all. Mmm, well... If you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey, hold on! Oh. Mmm, it's really delicious. Mmm. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. Ah. What's it going to be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss? What was that? Oh, I guess very well, my king. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead... Ooh. I forgot I was hand-feeding her. 
Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. <laughs> oh, this is weird. She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. It's not a front. It's not a front. It's who she is. <laughs> I do more, but I feel those husks staring jealous daggers into my back. They'll tear my head off if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? I suppose. Very well. Let us resume the play. Perfect. Okay, great. Oh, love this. Interior, no light besides open window. Enter wearing robe and mask. Okay. Uh, I mean, I took out all those ingredients. It didn't do anything to the ingredients. It, it did nothing to the ingredients. Okay. Uh, no lights except for the open window. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Can't wait for this to be another, like, 10 minutes of me just trying to fucking read the first line. Oh, thank God. Damn the night and morrow scornful. Wicked morning unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed. Why is it... Us only still. Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? Oh, why so livid is your actions that permitted this result truly befitted to a hunger such as thine? Though your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die, it's within your grace you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. Oh shit. Uh, my line. Okay, wretched guest. Wretched guest, you've come to mock me. For bemusement thou was hawking, and so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave thee just my broken heart <laughs> leave not else in whole or part I wear no mask no uh, witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil oh so, for I'm the king in yellow whose long shadows oh shit and whose shadow you're in still dark as death is now Yatil oh shit uh you got way more intimidating with that. Um, and honestly, hotter. <laughs> Gotta be honest. The, uh, the bloody sword hoop skirt is uh, doing it for me. Okay, come on, you motherfucker. Oh, thank God. Urk, uh, draw thy blade from mine contusion. My, oh, did I get stabbed? <laughs> My life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty matched by your delusion that you truly are the king. Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. Uh, if, I, if indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? remaining family damn and as vision turns to darkness you have claim to all you see and you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed and the strong will fall to illness haunt you till with like stillness and none left alive to witness my ascension to your tail and from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still he heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill Rise unprecedented in the history of your till. 
whales unlike they'll ever be again in Dark Yatil. That your invitation's quill brought the king to Black Yatil. Oh my. Ow. Still dying. Innumerable voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Fanatical revelry, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement all, admit, all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles! Aren't you proud of yourself? I'm still dying! <laughs> why, why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm really bleeding out here! My blood streams from a gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseamed. To God. ensure you stay in character. Uh -huh. method acting, if you will. Okay, but shouldn't if I'm method acting, shouldn't I be doing the things to myself? Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls. And the show begins. The mm. stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Interesting. Do this. And I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. Mm. You mean the smooches you promised, plural? You said you'd give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? I mean, Your yeah. Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound, and you're worried about smooches? I'm worried about being shortchanged for all the hard work I've put in. You are... An interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. That's just... <laughs> That's every relationship I've ever been in. Ha! It's a joke. Please, dear God. <laughs> Uh, the yellow sign is only visible or drawable for those who have witnessed or performed the King in Yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play of the King in Yellow will cause a permanent irreversible obsession with the King, her court, and Carcosa. This insane obsession persists after death. Oh, fun. Uh, if you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, light black fire candles. This will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves and draw the shape below without the X. Okay. So, all lights off. And then black fire candles. Aha! Black fire reveals secrets. Interesting. <laughs> Get me all the secrets. Uh, alrighty. And then finally, okay. Now I have to draw the symbol. Behold, there it is. The yellow sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. I am entropy. Disorder. <laughs> Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Okay. Monuments, nations, relationships. Oh. Less hot, but the, the rest of it was sexy. Uh, <laughs> some of the husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal Ooh. the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to Ooh. break them. And litter my court with them like gold dust. But why me, of all people? I'm broke. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. Ooh. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of clout amongst the Nycoling crowd and shrewd wealthy types. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. Fair enough. At least... Until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. I mean, do I not have my job anymore? I mean, I remembered you. All How did I undo your hard work? I had stolen from Lynetta. 
gone in an instant. But they don't remember you? I had no choice but to abandon that reality. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's There's gone. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. I'm... So it didn't... It doesn't ex You didn't leave. It just poofed. It poofed. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. I gotta say, you call me a powerful asset. It's pretty hot. <laughs> All the husks. They're bleeding from their chest onto their elegant robes, just like me. All these people. Why? Why? Because it's what I do. No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. Huh? Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Were you unaffected? Did, did the spell fail? I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me. Ah. Uh. I already was since I first saw you. That that's why your little spell didn't work. <laughs> you can try and resist it all you want, but uh -huh. one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. <laughs> what I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living solely to please me. Yeah, uh, that just sounds like marriage. No! I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time. A servitude unlike anything on Earth where you never so much as think of anyone else. No, we have that on Earth and it's called marriage. It's different! Is not. Is too! If, how so? It means no freedom. Forever. You are only Yep. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. Yeah, sure. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Until death do us part, even. Exactly. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. <laughs> I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. Here Shit. You shouldn't. I, I... I stole you away. I ruined your relationship with Lynetta. I preferred you from the beginning. Untrue. <laughs> I already broke up with Lynetta in the other reality, actually. That is true. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. Save it for our wedding day. Uh, it, you can't be serious, right? Hell yeah! I love. I look at confusion. Like a. I. I was in control, right? Am I in control? Ah, <laughs> uh, love that. That's a king in white. Ah. Uh, Love that. All right. Um, let me see how long I've been recording. It's been over an hour. Uh, I would love to do more of these, uh, but it would seem that it took me uh, forever to get through any of those fucking rituals. Anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit, the, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more, including the rest of the game, I, I do plan on going back in and getting the other various endings. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe and uh, ring that bell to be notified of when that stuff comes out. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!